So I have just purchased a box of 64 mystery CPUs and then I started uh, opening them but I thought it would make a great video if we um, open this mystery box together. Uh, so where I've got up to, up to so far is I've got several 8th gen i3s, I have quite a few 6th gen i3s, I have a 10th gen i5, I have a 8th gen i5, I have four of those, 7th gen i5, a i5 43 4th gen, and here on its own I've got one i7 out of this, and then basically this is a scrap file pile, this is all 3rd gen i3s, which probably aren't worth anything, so I'm going to carry on unboxing and see what CPUs I get and I'll share that experience with you. So let's get on to the next pack. This is actually a lot harder to do on camera when I've done it, cut my hands open. Let's see what we've got in here. It's actually cost me about £140, but let's see if it was worthwhile doing or not. So that is scrap i3 third gen I'll go in the scrap pile let's have a look at what we got here this is i3 fourth gen maybe not so much scrap but I think it goes into that category maybe we might get lucky in the next one fingers crossed I was worried that all of these might be i3s third and fourth gen and they're worth like 50p each or something silly like that so not worth a lot of money these little packs are right buggers to get open all right here we go what's this one so we have a six gen i3 still not brilliant but i guess it'll go in that pile and then, what do we have here? Hopefully something worthwhile. What is this? This is an i5 fourth gen. Hmm, somewhat useful. I guess that'll go up here. <coughs> I'm just gonna open these packs off camera just to save you time. What's in here? i3 8th gen? Mm, not too bad. I suppose. Uh, what have we got this one? i3 3rd gen scrap. This person took a lot of care and attention wrapping all of these up so. I think they know what they've given me. I've only got one i7 so far. And it's probably a broken one, maybe. I have to check all of these. A 5.8 gen, not bad. That will certainly be useful. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the next one in here. What's this? i5 6th gen goes. Where does this go? So, actually, it's a new category there. So, that will go there. Okay. Going to a new layer. Jesus, that's a. That is a lot of CPUs in there. Let me just take you across to have a look. There's a ton of packs. But hopefully this video is a bit of a laugh. See if it was worth me doing it or not. I think either way I should be able to get my £140 worth back. I think I think it was a worthwhile investment. 
sell off the scrap CPUs as a job lot and uh, hope for the best really. Also we have uh, i3 7th gen there which uh, we haven't got yet so again that'll be a new category and let me know which ones do you think I should get rid of sell as a job lot or keep out of all of these CPUs do you think all the i3s are scrap are they worth building systems in I don't know this one seems pretty messed up it's an i3 6th gen I think that will probably go in the scrap pile well it's just the IHS messed up I suppose I can give it a try uh, yeah I'm gonna have to move my single i7 along I've only got one so far This is a seventh gen i3 again. A lot of i3s in here, which is kind of what I expected to be honest. The listing didn't say everything was i3; it just said job lot of CPUs. So in theory, it should be in anything and everything. Come on, you bugger! Oh shit! That wasn't good. Oh, H and I3. Hopefully I didn't drop an I7. That was the other one. I3, fourth gen. Yeah, not too worried about that. Uh, not sure where this goes. Oh, I think this goes over here. Semi scrap pile, that. I'm not sure if I'm going to scrap them or not, but I might do. I have to get used to opening things through my camera lens. It's a bit of an art form, this, I have to say. It looks easier when you're just watching it, but when you're actually doing it, it's pretty, pretty tricky. You can't really see what's going on. Okay, so we have a third, third gen i3 scrap, i3 6th gen. Yeah, I've got a lot of 6th gen i3s. There's a huge amount of i3s in this. I mean, if there was like a mini motherboard, and you can make like a, a mini system that didn't need much power, it makes sense. This is 8th Gen i3. Which goes down here. So I have five of those now. This is a 6th Gen i3. Bloody hell, I've got a lot of 6th gen there. And I think for the i3s it's probably not worth me building a system in. But maybe selling them off individually. I have to test them all first. Of course. 3rd gen i3. There's in the scrap pile. Oh, i5, 8th gen. I haven't had an i5 in a little while. That's good. Oops. That was the excitement. Getting an i5, see what happens. I'll knock my camera over. Okay. I think there's three in this one. i3 third gen scrap if you can see that oh yeah 
I free seventh gen. Okay, I've only got three of those. I what's this one? I three seventh gen again. Four of those now. What's this? I three fourth gen. Mm, semi scrap. I think it probably is scrap to be honest. Oh, I five six gen. That'd be good. Put that. Where should I put that? Not somewhere there. Is that right? Very OCD like that, I and mean, need to be in, in the right order. Okay. I mean, this is the thing is I have no idea if any of these work or not. But typically, CPUs tend to be much harder wearing than motherboards. So, most of them should be okay. I wouldn't expect a lot of them to be broken you never know i5 8th gen goes here I'm cleaning these I might just cut them in our isoprop bath and <coughs> just soak them completely so that they're completely clean. Okay, and it's not good that the backs of the CPUs are touching each other, it should be the way around. The IHS side should be touching each other because you've got a lot of chips in the back that can be knocked off. 6 gen again, a lot of 6 gen i3s. I'm kind of getting to the end of what I have here, which is not good, because I only have one i7 out of all of this, which is kind of what I expected to be honest. i5 fourth gen, definitely useful. And this is another 6 gen i3. I have to move my i7 along somewhere else because there's too many 6th gen i3s in here. See, look. They shouldn't be packed like that, they should be packed the other way around because these chips could get knocked off. 7th Gen i3. What's this? This is i5 4th Gen. Again, useful. This feels like a bulky one. Four or three in here. I three eighth gen. Quite a few of those. I three sixth gen. I three seventh gen. Probably about three or four left. Let's 
so we've done I3. Six gen I5, another six gen, brilliant. We'll go there. Well, I haven't sliced my hand open yet. That would be great for the video, wouldn't it? This is 6 Gen I3. Of course, just like every other one in this pile. And this is a 4th Gen I5. It's a T version, which is good. Just one I7 out of all of this. I can just to get one more, maybe. I3, scrap. Ninth gen I5, that can go with the tenth gen, I think. Gen i3, and I think this is the last pack. Yes, it is. It's the last one. Six gen i3. I'm running out of space with all these six gens. This last pack has three. Six gen i3. Let's hope this last one is something decent. What do you think it is? Shall have a look? Oh, scrap. Okay, so that's a lot, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's have a look at the whole lot. So that is literally all the CPUs that I got. All of that pile is scrap. Everything up to this line downwards is i3s, which is a hell of a lot. Everything above that is i5s. And then one single i7 CPU 4th gen. So, is what it is. Let me know if you think that was worth £140 or not. And what I should do with the CPUs. Which one should I scrap, which one should I sell, and which one should I use to build computer systems. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, hope it's been a bit of a fun ride with you. Thanks for watching.